Well, hi there, Internet. My name's Court, and you've got courtside seats for my review of Stockholm. Let's do it. Stockholm is a comedy crime drama from director Robert Boudreau and Entertainment One. The film stars Ethan Hawke, Numi Rapace, Mark Strong, Christopher Heyerdahl, Bia Santos, and Mark Rendall. Based on the absurd but true 1973 bank heist and hostage crisis in Stockholm that was documented in The New Yorker as the origins of the Stockholm Syndrome. First off, I would just like to say thank you to my friends over at InTheSeats.ca for hooking up passes to this screening. In the Seats is a Canadian website that reviews movies and TV shows and other good stuff. Sometimes they give away passes and sometimes I write reviews for them as well. I will leave a link in the description. Hope you'll go over there, show them some love. So the trailer for Stockholm looked hilarious, looked a little silly, looked like bonkers fun, and while the movie is all of those things, not to the extreme that I was really hoping. It's fun, but not exhilarating. It's chuckle-worthy, but not laugh-out-loud hilarious. And it is a little silly, but it was not quite as absurd as I was expecting. Having said that, it's still a pretty good time at the movies. Now, I'm not an historian. I don't know a whole lot about the actual incident, so I'm just reviewing this movie on its merits as a movie alone. First off, I have to say, after seeing this flick, I kind of get how Stockholm Syndrome is a thing. After spending only 92 minutes with Ethan Hawke and Mark Strong's characters, they were so freakishly likable, I would love to go for a pint with those guys. And the acting in this movie is very strong. Ethan Hawke and Mark Strong both delve deep into their comedic sensibilities and timings, and they both nail it. Numi Rapace is also quite good. She's really the emotional heart of the film, and she does a lot more emoting than most of the rest of the cast, and she's really, really good. She doesn't get to play for laughs very often in the film, but when she does, she sells it. And Christopher Heyerdahl, who I'm not familiar with, but he's like dryly funny as the chief of police. Love that character. The pacing in this movie is an issue, despite a fairly short runtime. The first act really moves, it's a lot of fun, but it really slows down considerably in the middle section. At that point in the movie, the characters are being forced to just kind of wait while the police buy their time, and that's really kind of what it felt like being part of the audience. Now, I mentioned off the top that the trailer had this silly, frenetic energy that really, really had me on board. And while the movie does have some fast-paced beats, that energy is not so well represented in the final product. There are moments where the movie really pops, but it does drag at times. This movie reminded me considerably of the 1990 Bill Murray comedy Quick Change, which if you haven't seen it, treat yourself. Now the comparisons are really mainly just in the first act of Quick Change, which is about a sort of bumbling bank robbery gone wrong. And I might argue that Stockholm is the better made film over Quick Change, but it's not as fun or as funny. Having said that, Stockholm is worth seeing. I don't think you need to rush out to see it in the theater. I think it'd be fine to wait for it on streaming, but maybe check it out when it comes along. Now, I don't have a proprietary rating system as of yet, so I'm just trying to figure out what I'm gonna give Stockholm. And I think I'm gonna give Stockholm a... Since you have sacrificed your health for knowledge of my home country, I find you very attractive and... I hope to make love to you in the near future. Well, Schmergen out of 10. So now I wanna know, have you seen Stockholm? What did you think about it? What is your favorite sort of historical comedy biopic based on a crime? Whatever your thoughts, hit the comments below. Let's discuss. If you enjoyed this review, please smash that like button and give it a share if you really enjoyed it. And hey, why not take a second, do me a favor, click subscribe and ring that bell to subscribe to my channel for more movie reviews, entertainment news, trailer reactions, all that good stuff. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.